Our team's name is Chimple. We are located in Bangalore, India. A lot of people in our team are software developers, but this is the first time we are actually developing for children, especially children who never been exposed to a tablet. Children learn while they are playing. They may not know that they are learning, but their brain is actually working all the time. So what we do in our software is we let the child play. In my mind, what we did unique is giving a ton of games, giving a ton of stories, giving a ton of choices for the kid, because no two kids are alike, right? So we wanted to give something for everybody. So the architecture of the app can actually be thought of as a combination of different mini applications. There is an intelligent agent which chooses which activity to present to the child and you know based on the performance of the child on that activity suggests a new one. We had to use gaming engine to actually implement the games. We had to use neural networks to figure out the handwriting recognition. And the Pixel tablet itself, you know, it's a very capable tablet so that it can do the neural network processing. So our hope is we scale it to millions and millions of children all across the world. One organization actually cannot create the content and the software which can be localized to various different parts of the world. So this is actually the most significant facet of the Global Learning Express, I think. Because at the end of the competition, we will have five great software through which children can actually learn how to read and write and do basic mathematics. And then anybody from anywhere in the world can actually customize it and then spread it around in their own neighborhood, their own community and their own country. I think the biggest concept that this competition will prove is that education can be equitably shared amongst all the people of the world.